Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango here to review episode 6 of Darling and the Frank or Fran, whatever XX. So, with this episode, with the power of anime bullshit, they were able to pull that off. <laughs> so, yeah, with this episode, well, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, the whole the end of the episode, I'm just like, really? Okay, anime, but anyway, the beginning of the episode, well, we have the whole, you know, pack of clousers or whatever you say that are coming towards them, and they have the two squads ready, I think it was Squad 26 and Squad 13, I could be wrong, but, um, yeah, they're all standing by and waiting, and then the other squad, they have really good teamwork, and they're really good at working together and everything, and I'm just like, you know... It looks like all their weapons are the same. If you would give the other squad the same weapons, maybe they could do teamwork. That makes a lot of sense, but it's weird because, you know, that squad, they look exactly like the mechs look exactly alike, the weapons are alike, and then we have our other squad who look, the mechs are very different, the weapons are different, you know? So, that's interesting. But, anyway, so as they fight along, you know, side them as the battle increases, you know, zero two hero, well, um, he should have died from that. He didn't. Why? <laughs> and Ichigo, she was very close to confessing her love to him, but she, you know, sibling zoned him, and I'm just like, why, girl? Why are you like this? If you would have... Well, I mean, later she said she was going to tell him that, you know, he shouldn't pilot him. And I'm like, no, you weren't. You said... You literally said, I, I, and then nothing, you know? And she's like, oh, I'm like your sibling or something like that. And I'm like, you weren't going to tell him not to pilot. You were going to tell him you loved him. You... Yeah! But anyway. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, as the episode went along, you know, Zero Two and uh, Hero joined the fight. And that just gets out of this world. It's like, wow, okay. Um, because after they defeat the little ones, everybody, pretty much, there's the big one, which transforms into this big old humanoid-looking form thing, and it's really hard to defeat. The other squad's completely taken out, pretty much. They're not dead, but they're all just down for the count. Um, but as it goes along, you know, they're all helping in, and well, it turns out that, oh, Hero died! No, and I actually thought he did, but then he didn't. And I'm like, dang it! He Honestly, I kind of feel like, like it'd be a good story point if he actually did die, but then there'd be the problem of, well, who would pilot with Zero Two and everything, so he can't die, unfortunately, because protagonist armor always wins in the end, am I right? Um... But I did like the whole, you know, him telling Zero Two that she'll never be alone again and everything. But I don't know how, but by the power of anime bullshit, we had, you know, Hero just somehow recover from his injuries from the blue thing that was crawling up his face. And he was pretty much dying, like, when Zero Two was trying to get out of the mech, you know, and everything. And I'm like, Power of anime bullshit is what just happened. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, like no explanation no nothing. It just happens and I'm just like Wow, okay, that was dumb, but all right moving on. It's kind of what I expected to happen when they're like, oh, he's dead and I'm like, no, he's not unfortunately. <laughs> I'm like, no, he's not. There's no way <laughs> um, But anyway, you know, they get back to, and fight and kill it and it's fine yay, they did it, um, by the power of anime bullshit. <laughs> I'm just like, that's not how that works, but okay. She, he literally was brought from the brink of death. I'm just like, wow, okay. So, but I did like the holy nose here too, not being alone and thing. I'm like, yay, best girl gets to have not be alone. That's great. And the end of the episode, like the very end of the episode, uh, we got to see this guy, like say, Nine Yota, and I'm like, Who's Nine Yota? Are you talking about Hero? Because he's like, oh, you know, he's talking, and or or is he talking about Zero too? He's talking about one of them, and I think it's Hero. I don't know how he knows him. Maybe they were in the same orphanage because these are all from orphanages. Don't know, but that'll be interesting plot point later, I'm sure. So, what'd you guys think of this episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? And I'll see you guys in Wonder Bear Review next. Bye.